Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays as you can see this one is against the Grand Master League Protoss and this guy isn't off racing I have checked that and this is gonna be so good so finally I don't know how but finally I'm playing against real GMs no smurfs no off racing, no NA, this is Europe, me, with my main account against the GM Protoss. Bam, there we go. And it's quite quite up to date. Because we are playing on Terraformally, spawning in the left top position. It's the red Protoss value at risk. And his opponent, the challenger, it's me. The blue Proto, uh, blue Terran, Alex Sasha, spawning in the right bottom position. So I screwed up the introduction, which is okay, because I'm a bit nervous seeing this game again. It was so much fun to play it. I felt so good. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. It was the first the first real GM I've played. I mean, I played some GMs on NA and stuff like that, but most of the time it was just off-race or cheesy strats. This game is gonna be a really, really good macro game. And I hope you enjoy it. There we go. Barracks is on the way. Ooh. And there we go, the refinery. Ooh. And there we have the gateway with the probe scout. And before I continue to cast this game, I need to drink a sip of water because my mouth, oh man, it's so dry. And now I feel really ready to cast this game. So the probe is scouting for any shenanigans. Interestingly, not the main base, because there could be the proxy 8 uh, barracks, 10 racks, I'm not quite sure. The, the, the super fast proxy barracks in main with Bunker, Bunkerino to the Cappuccino Nexus, and then uh, straight up kill your opponent with good Bunker, uh, SCV repair, Marine Micro. But for now it looks like a quite standard game. We have just one gas for value at risk, and there's the probe. Moving into my main base. Scouting around, we'll just see Reaper being produced, uh, gas been taken, standard stuff, and there we have the SUV as well. Scouting around, seeing uh, one gas, okay, no gas, alright, fine. Where's the second pylon? There it is. Everything quite standard. And that's the good thing. You have to sell it, you have the Reaper, and as well the reactor. Let's have a look at the APM. Ooh, the spamming is real with those guys. 210 average, 180 average, so yeah, I could work on that as well. But for now it's fine. Uh, Nexus going down ASAP. I guess he cancelled the salad. Ooh, yeah. Cancelling the salad. Uh, there I have, uh, not the salad, but the salad. Uh, salad. You get it, <laughs> I guess. The Mother's Recall is out at time. Reaper won't find any damage here. Uh, no, not committing to that. Very wise decision. And we see the second gas. Unfortunately, I guess I didn't scout it. Nope. I didn't scout it. There we have another pylon. Second gas. Standard stuff. Expansion going down. Factory as well. So this could be a bit of mine drop. And the, uh, the SUV going back. There we have two marines being produced. Moves going gonna cold. And Reaper patrolling, you need to be so careful with, with that uh, Reaper out of the map because it can happen that you lose it to a Stalker moving just right here with the Mothership Core and then uh, start a step against the Reaper even if you react then in time as soon as you get the message it's most likely too late. So you need to have an eye on the minimap all the time if you have the Reaper patrolling or standing out of the map because if you lose that it's definitely not good. The Reaper is the only thing which keeps your opponent back. As soon as the Reaper dies, you lose a lot of kiting potential against the Stalker, so you can't go out with the Marines. You will most likely lose a lot of them. And with the Reaper, yeah, you can kite a bit better. Soak some damage as well, which is really good. But yeah, for now, this Reaper is alive, all fine. Robotics facility going down. Probe-wise, it's looking equal. It's okay with the Mew. All fine, income-wise. And there we have the Vitamines. And soon we might see the Medivac base being taken. So our Marines, they were there just in case of the Oracle, which could come before the Vitamine is out. Uh, now they go to the front, which is fine. 
And there we go with the medivac. He has an observer, can be scouting around a sentry, and he's throwing down a forge and two more gateways. It looks like the forge is smaller than the gateway, but both are three to th three squares uh, big, if I'm not mistaken. And I guess I'm not because the cybernetics is three to three squares as well. So yeah, it's just looking a bit smaller, but it isn't. The observer didn't see the move out, uh, but this observer might spot it in time. So he sees the bunker, he doesn't scout the main base. It could be uh, very bad for him. There we have the medivac with the two widow mines and we will see how much damage we can do. Ooh, a warp prism, I like that. And finally there's the robotics base. So. War person could use it, then she sees it, uh, pops the photon overskill immediately. Uh, but there we have, have them. Ooh, the widow mines. How much damage will they get? Uh, eight kills? Not too bad. And oh, this medivac so low. Ah! Dies. But eight probe kills, which is nice. The observer comes back and he will be able to clear those widow mines. But I didn't lose too much there. Just a medivac and a reaper and maybe a marine. Four marines, oh! So much, but oh, there we have the war prism and there's not a whole lot to defend. The widow mine not buried, nothing here. Uh, value at risk, still doesn't know about my mech play. And that's the big issue with most protos, uh, I would say. Even at GM Zonis, this guy is Grand Master League. He isn't scouting the main base, he doesn't know that it's mech. He's just assuming because mech is so bad, you can't play mech against Protoss, you will never be able to do that. Uh, they just assume you to go bio and then they see it and are uh, like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, uh, oh, 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 stalker follows I is very bad against mech, I need to go for something else and half their, half their decisions and tech went already into stalker and colossus most of the time. Uh, which is not really good against mech. I mean, Blink Stalker are nice, but still, uh, not the best one. So, here we go, Immortal, and instantaneously throws on the Twilight as he sees it. Uh, going for the gravit gravitic, gravitic Drive, Gravitic Drive, so speed for the War Prism, so I can't catch it with the Vikings, I might get, and this is really nice. I'm still worried about him because he didn't attack or drop either with the war prism so far, which is not gonna be good. This marine might scout the war prism. Ooh, so close! I don't think I saw it. I could see it now with the barracks, but most likely I'm just way too nervous. Or am I? Ooh, there are the marines. Okay, so I saw it. I'm on patrol. Uh, well, you're just taking another base. Worker wise, it's looking not too good. So. Uh, scouting the mech totally screwed him off the game. Ooh, there's the Viking, but speed is ready, and you see how fast the war prison is. No way to catch that one. The marine spots the Nexus, which is really nice, and behind that, I'm going for an expansion myself. There's still this observer, which I should snipe ASAP. Uh, sometimes it would be nice to just fly around with the Raven and a Viking and try to snipe some observer near your base. Because there's almost, in any game, at least one observer at your base. So, killing that could be nice. It costs a lot of gas, it costs a chrono boost as well, most likely, and it's very annoying. Because you can not produce immortal and such. Uh, there we have the war prison going into the main base. Sneaks in, unloads some salads. How much damage can he deal to uh, CVs down so far? The war prison looking like to escape there. And 5 SUV kills. The Zealots are doing a real good damage here with the upgrades they got as well. 1-1. One, one. Marines not the strongest one. Ooh, this one survived so close. Need to land the Vikings. 10 SUV kills and the War Prison goes down. Ooh. That was unfortunate for him. For him. So he got I got the tanks there. Dropping the mule hammer. And army supply. Look at the army supply. Value at risk. Heavily attacking, try to keep me back, but I'm also playing quite passively. If I would go attack now, I guess there would be a chance to win 
or deal a lot of damage, but I got no buffer for the tanks. I got the Vitamines, which could be sniped by the Stalker, potentially. And so I need a bit more buffer stuff, like Helvets. And those are Hellions, so... But I could transform for them. Tool Drinks going up, some Vitamines, just in case, for now. Uh, Vikings into the air again. And if you look at the supply, it's looking pretty damn good for me, but that's quite normal I would say. If, if I'm playing mech against Protoss, most of the time I'm heavily ahead in supply, at least in army supply, although I can't kill him, but those Stalker really doing a good job, just pulling the mules for repair, misclick there, losing a lot of stuff, being annoying, killing a Hellion, killing a Viking, two tanks for one Stalker, or two Stalker, very worth it, uh, not getting this Hellion, but good trades here. Um, yeah, Blink Stalker can keep your army quite back and can be very annoying. So Blink Stalker very viable. I don't know what's the answer to, to Blink Stalker. I mean, Sieged tanks are good. Uh, Siege tanks are okay if they are in non-Siege mode, but as you can see, he, he snipes it and gets away without losing a Stalker. There we have another war prison. Uh, I could imagine that Thor are good, but you're not getting, getting Thor against Protoss because of the Immortal most of the time, so... For now I'm sticking to Viking, Tank, Widowmine, and potentially some Halbats. There we have additional Starports and uh, another Command Center going down. So the Starport I assume is either for Raven or Banshee. Banshees are really good at TVP uh, for going mag. They have the Cloak. You can counter High Templar with them if you do the Cloak Flickering. So you drain the energy of the Benji by activating and deactivating the cloak all the time until they are empty. Very good. And now we can see, look at that, how annoying Blink Stalker are. This sniper, Viking or two, this sniper, Helvet or two. Yeah, he loses some Stalker in the process, but most of the time, look at how much damage he's dealing. Really good control here, really worth good kiting, but in the end he has to turn back. And we could see some base trade potential here. Look at all those Stalker, uh, killing those rocks, he could blink across them, but oh, carefully with the war prison. But there we go, no defense, no cannons, where's the mothership core, does he even have one? No! And there we go, and at the same time, oh, the Widowmines dealt so much damage to the Stalker, killing a lot of them, and there we have two tanks and two more Widowmines, oh, big shots fired, look at that, Ugh! Oh, he doesn't get the orbit command. Blinks on top of the tanks, but there was another middle mine. Halber dealing a lot of splash damage as well as the tanks. And it looks like he pulled back, evacuated to this fourth base, which is nice. But there are just seven stalker left. The three tanks are produced here. And we'll be able to clear the remaining stalker. Worker wise, he's dealing some damage, but I don't need worker at that stage of the game. Not really that many. So I'm fine. And uh, good repair on the tanks, not losing any of them. Uh, unit lost tap shows. I'm doing quite okay. I, I killed a base. He dealt some damage, but he killed a bunker, some tanks, helmets, and lost a lot for that, so not really worth it. Uh, but he somehow was able to go up to 8 immortal, and this is very strong, and it just needs to be careful because uh, in the middle mines. He could throw down storms to kill them as they are really clumped. Uh, there we go, a bit more spread. Uh, how many observer does he have? Three. One there, one with his army, two with his army. So you need the observer. And the goal is for me, kill the observer so that Banji and Widowmines can deal with the Protoss army. Uh, where are the Banjis? No Banjis so far. There's still the war person active on the map, but not doing anything. There we have the war person. There are the Banjis. No cloak researched yet, uh, but they deal a lot of damage. Big warpen of Stalker. His upgrades are not too bad either. There he goes! Ah, oh, it turns back. So much tank fire. Very difficult to deal with it. And there we go! This is why you don't want to take this base because of the tanks. Blink Stalker going there. And this tank survives the PDD just in time! They Stalker! Double PDD! Don't get the tank! The tank's still active! And trading away 7 Stalker for 1 tank is not worth it, so he has to evacuate this base. And he's only on... Okay, so he's on... Yeah, 2 mining bases now. He loses a lot of mining time, he can't mine gas, which is the biggest issue here. Sure he could warp in some salad somewhere, I guess, but very difficult position to be in here. Uh, I guess he could crush this. There you go, Observer. He got Observer speed as well, I like it. Oh, the scan! Kills Observer, if you mind. 
Uh, blinks on top of the tanks, another Widowmine loses those. Uh, Widowmine's Oh! Big shots, there's the Mothership Core. Almost went down. Uh, and he got no Observer left. They all died to the Widowmine, so... He don't see Cloak units. Where are the Banshees? There are the Banshees. Still no Cloak. Cloak being researched, look at the unit. Production tab there. That's really showing the skill. <laughs> yeah, another base taken. I'm quite good... Uh, I got a good setup. I got some tanks here, he's retaking the space. Oh, the Widowmind! Big shot fight again, and he might lose the Mothership Core for nothing. That sucks, no recall, but there's no splash for the mortal to deal with them. I mean, they will. Ooh, carefully there! You don't see the Widowmind! Oh my god, that was a big hit there. Uh, more Widowmind's coming in! Drilling Claws, not researched yet. That's a big issue for me, but Cloak is there. He got the Observer just in time, which is nice for him, but. Oh, the Widowmind! Killing both of them again, but it looks like he just had enough going full at... Yeah, he goes full into that. But this Banshee, you can see, no Observer. He can't produce Immortal as he has to produce Observer. How many Observer died? Seven so far. Very annoying. Very annoying, forcing him to go all this gas into Observer. And yeah, Banshees are really good, but this attack could deal a lot of damage. And if you look at the army supply, it's looking good for me, but where's this army? Mostly in. Widowmines. Oh, carefully there. Oh, you can't attack into that. No way. Uh, carefully else well with the High Templar. He has no Observer. There it is. Observer. Storm. Snipe. And uh, he might lose the High Templar as well. And now he got... Oh no. It died again to the Vikings. <laughs> this is so bad. Look at this. And the funny thing is I'm not even producing Ghost. No ghost involved in this game so far. Oh, the Widowmines! Ooh, nice blink attempt, but uh, there's another one! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. He's losing so much to those Banshees. He got no detection, look at that. He's producing mostly Observer. That is, that is how you really annoy a Protoss player. And, oh my god, there's a Widowmine. Moving up towards the base, 33 probes will mine there soon. Uh, kills one, but so far very annoying. Can't mine from that base. Can't he could mine from that base, but he isn't. And transferring a lot of probes there. Way too oversaturated. He can't use the space. Lots of vitamin mines. Blinking from behind. Oh, so many vitamin mines! And he loses all the stalker. And now there's one Benji remaining. And he's he can't. Now he got the vision, but not the <laughs> not the units to deal with the Benji again, which is so annoying. And there we go, vitamin mines. Are you, oh, four more Vitamines coming in! Oh, those will those will kill a lot of worker there. Oh my god, look at that! Oh! Boom! Ah, so many kills! He's down 100 supply! He got four Observer with this army. He got almost no mining. He's down like 30 probes. This is not looking good. There we go! There are the Observer! And look at that! This is so nice! There are the Cloak Banshees! There are the Observer! There are the Vitamines! Oh my god, no! Look at that! The Vitamine shot kills all the Observer! And now, Valiot Driss can't see the Banshees! And has to retreat back! And there we go! GG! My first Grandmaster win! Yeah. Epic! I love this game! It makes me so proud of myself! And it was so good! I mean, I did some mistakes! No ghosts! But the thing with the Banshees was nice. I was a bit lucky because he didn't play too well, but he was no off -race. You can check this. If you want to check this, go to neos.kr, neos.kr, and Google for value at risk, and then you see him. So, oh god, so many probe kills. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did playing and casting. As always, I hope you see us next time. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.